Hi guys, my name is Sola Dave. Like if it's your first time seeing my beautiful face, hearing my beautiful voice, welcome to the family. I hope you do end up subscribing. And if you're my returning subscriber, thank you so much. I want to use this opportunity to thank every single one of you for sticking with me. As I today, today is the 13th of January. I have now 124 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you for all your support, all your views, all your love, all your shares. Or your comments i see all the comments i reply to all my comments if you know me you know that i don't play all my comments i appreciate you guys so much and yeah without further ado as you guys have seen today's video we're going to be talking about my 2022 what happened and we're going to be basically reviewing my dream board okay and in my next video i'll be showing you guys my 2023 reset so stay tuned and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already without further ado let's get right into the video so I'm going to be looking down, so please pardon me. Um, basically, the theme for the year or like the central word for the year was just keep swimming, which is a quote that was different from Finding Nemo, um, to the quote by Dory. Um, yeah, basically, I just wanted 2022 to be a year where despite what I go through, like I was just still pushing, keep like I'm still like trying my best to make things work, which um, I did see <laughs> sometimes we manifest things without actually like deep in what they mean because i really said oh yeah i'm i really basically said i'm going to go through things that will make me have to mentally saying just keep swimming i basically said that i'm trying to so actually give me things to actually like have to say just keep swimming about don't do that guys learn from my mistakes because no i'm see my eyes are already getting very very teary but we're gonna ignore the emotions yeah, the quotes I have, one of one of the quotes, I have a bunch, a couple of quotes. One of the quotes I have here is brief. Um, and there's like this Sanskrit symbol, which um is a beautiful reminder to do what comes naturally. It's the first thing we do when we come into the world and last thing we do when we leave it. Um that's such a sad quote. If you know <laughs> if you know my life right now, that's just such a sad quote. And yeah, um do what comes naturally. Um that was one thing that I wanted to do a lot this year and in my video last year where i talked about manifestation i actually said that i wanted to create videos where it's easy like these are natural things that i do and then i'm creating content from the things i do naturally not that i'm cracking my head or busting my head to create content which i would say i kind of did but when we actually start talking about my content um in this part of this video then we will see how i did the content yeah the next thing i have is just this picture right here and then under that you have like a it's a picture of a relationship which I didn't get into last year. And to the glory of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I also did not chop breakfast last year. Please, round of applause for me. Because, yeah, a lot of people chop breakfast, but one thing that I did not do, despite all my trials and tribulations, was that I did not chop breakfast. Yeah, um, next thing was um, corporate, like basically someone on corporate wear. Um, that was to depict getting a job and also like dressing corporately, harnessing my fashion, blah, blah, blah. So, you guys know, as at the beginning of the year, I was doing NYSD. I finished my NYSD in February, and then I started job hunting. And you guys know the whole series about job hunting, how that went. I think I documented majority of it. I made a video on how to stay sane, how to prepare for like post NYSD or post uni um, during my time of depression. In quotes. Um, and yeah, so basically, as you guys know, if you are following my monthly recaps and all of that, I didn't get a job until november i literally got my job offer on my birthday it was the best birthday gift ever and yeah that's basically it i got a job on my birthday last year it was november 30th so basically i didn't have a job i didn't have any opportunities to actually dress up or anything and then i resumed january this year so this is basically now a general thing but the environment of my work is not like a very very corporate corporate environment it's not like them accounting firms or anything like so it's like a very casual thing. I still dress corporate, so, like mind you, but it's like everybody's dressing so semi, like business casual. I can't be going there dressing business corporate. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, I'm going to have to tone it down a bit, but like we're still going to try to look good despite that. Okay, there's still ways to look very nice despite not being very very corporate corporate. So yeah, next thing I have on here is Sophie. Um, as you guys know, last year I started talking to Sophie a lot more. I do not know if I should say that we say so we talk more this year. Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait. Wait. The beginning of the year was amazing for me. 
because I had an opportunity to work with Sophie on a project for her Instagram. So as you guys know, Sophie got her Jeep last year. And so she was doing a compilation of videos um, from her YouTube when she was like manifesting the car, basically like talking about, oh my gosh, I want a car. When I get my car, oh, I got my driver's license, all of that. So basically, my job was a two-person two job. Um, my job was to get those clips from her YouTube video. So I, ah, I spent hours on Sophie's channel, which was good because I love watching Sophie's content. And then Trinity, Trinite, sorry, Trinite did the compilation of the video. So yeah, that was one thing that I worked with Sophie on. Then I think there's something else. Oh, 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 oh. Sophie follows me on Instagram with both her main and her spam and follows me as well on Twitter. Does your fave follow you on your social media? No, shut up. Let me use my story on Instagram. Ah, like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Like, these were things that I was hiding. You guys remember in my videos where I'm like, oh, something crazy happened this month. And like, I'm like, I can't tell you guys now. I'll tell you guys later. Ah, I manifested Sophie into my life. Like, it's crazy. Um, And there. Then self-care is healthcare. As you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, you follow my channel. I actually did try to start doing self-care. I had the self-care jar and everything. I did not follow through with that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't follow through with that. But this year, we're hoping that for our manifestation and our prioritizing self is on point. Because I really need to... You know, um, some situations in life make you realize that life is one, life is short. You never really know when it's your time. So you never really know when, when it's time to go. And if you keep postponing things that you want to do because or you think there's time... I hate to break it to you because there's no time there's actually no time <laughs> like last year taught me that there is actually no time you never know you never know you never know and in as much as nobody wants to think about it you have to just embrace the fact that that's the reality of life you know and move on um next you see the figures i put for my social media i wanted to hit 4k on instagram and hit 2k on youtube neither of which i did because i actually did not put any effort into actually posting on instagram i think the only times i actually was posting on instagram were like monthly recaps or something like that was the, like once i post like once in a month if i even post every month i didn't post every month yet so where is the growth gonna come from i don't come out to find you in your house no so yeah um youtube, YouTube um sadly no when i was 2k but i don't even on 1k but by the time the month is over by the time the month is over, it will be over. <laughs> By the time the month is over, it will be at 1k. Okay? But with your help, please, guys. It's like 75 more subscribers. I keep saying 25. Like, why do I think 925 is 950? Anyways, yeah. Um, next thing was pray your needs, pray your eyes, but most of all, pray through it. Um, yeah, I had to pray a lot last year. I had to pray um obviously like i said trials and tribulations <laughs> um there was a time when i actually started i think that was towards the end of the year like maybe august september if yeah i think august september i was actually prioritizing like waking up doing my devotion first thing in the morning um you know the first thing i do in the morning is like listen to worship music do like a listen to a sermon um jot down my notes and like pray that was like what i used to do and then if you watch my spotify rap you see that the um my spotify rap thingy showed that my mornings were filled with inspirational uplifting music uh worship music basically so that that was a thing like even the days that i didn't pray or like didn't actually watch a sermon the first like the music i played throughout my morning routine of getting ready would be worship music okay so that was basically what i did so yeah, this year we're prioritizing more prayer and actually spend more time praying and fasting. Even if that's well, we're gonna see how that works because I'm trying to gain weight. I've lost a lot of weight uh, within the last few months. Last two months, I've dropped a lot. It is a lot. Like my weight right now is my bones. I kid you not. Like I don't have flesh. No flesh. I'm skinny as well. This dress I'm wearing. No, no, no. Today it humbled me. He humbled me today and like last you know how you prepare the night before and then the morning there's no light so you have no choice but to wear the clothes but you're looking like a stick inside a bag of rice an empty bag of rice but it's fine this year we, we gained some weight <laughs> um next thing was to get my lighting as you guys know i'm currently using my led lights to film this video so yeah i got my lighting after my nyc i think it was in march or april 
so i got my led 600 which is what i use for almost all my videos for all my videos actually except my vlogs and then i also got my um softbox as well as a small vlogging light thingy which i got for my birthday um i don't know where that is i don't know where it is it has, it has appeared for yeah i got that as well so i got my lighting next thing was basically experiment with my hair main thing being to dye my hair as you can see my hair is not dyed it's still black i'll be dark brown so my hair is not dyed i didn't dye my hair but honestly if i'm actually being honest i really don't know if i want to dye my hair again because like i want to lock my hair I, if you've been following my vlogs like i said i keep saying this follow my vlogs please you know that i want to lock my hair and i actually did start my lock journey at a point but i had to take my my twist out because i had to travel for the events and then i say events for the service um so yeah i want to lock my hair and i don't want to have dyed locks i want to have my natural hair color locks i think they look better i think they look better at least at the beginning time like i want it to be like my natural hair so yeah i probably won't be coloring my hair anytime soon maybe like temporary hair dye or something but yeah another picture about dressing i was really into the dressing thing like i wanted to like look at the body i wanted to but see this is the thing you can see all these things here all these things put like they work together to the fact that i wanted to grow my social media and to grow your social media you have to look at the parts you have to like dress the part um talk the part actually play a part <laughs> so yeah i didn't actually do all of that um next thing was to travel see my friends i did travel it wasn't the most ideal reason to travel I didn't see the particular friends in the picture that is here. I didn't see them, but I did see David, my lover. Um, and it was, I wish it was on good terms, not bad terms. Like it, it wasn't like on a negative, like for a negative situation. I wish it was like for a positive thing. Like, oh, I'm getting married. You'll come over. Like, you get me. But no, it was for something sad and yeah, but despite that, I'm still grateful that I got to see him. I'm honestly so grateful to him. If I ever actually do a video on this, like I'll talk more about it, but like I'm so, so, so grateful for, to him for like always showing up for me and always being there. It's not something that I take for granted because there are other people that would actually talk about, oh, I'm going to come see you, I'm going to come see you and they actually don't. And he's just like, he just, then he just calls you in the morning and like, you, I'm coming over, like, I don't even know the way to the place, so but it's coming <laughs> he will find his way and that's one thing i love about him and that's why i would forever cherish our friendship okay. next and thing was to work out like i said i lost sweets <laughs> so obviously i wasn't being fit or nothing like obviously the losing of weight is from trauma but still like i i didn't work out like i worked out in like january like i've been seeing my snap memories and stuff you know how such snapchat reminds you of things you don't want to remember that mind but remember Hey, reminded about yeah, I've been seeing that I was in the gym this, this time last year. But well, let me just tell you, I'm in the gym right now. Okay, I'm not in the gym, I'm in the house working out right now. And this year's goal is to be a buddy. But my birthday, I, give me six months. Let's say ten. Ten months. <laughs> Let's not be too arrogant. Ten months. Just ten. Ten months. That's it. That's what I need. Ten months. Um, next thing was to try more recipes. And let me tell you, I tried a lot of recipes. I can't remember all of them. Maybe when I'm doing that um, vlog compilation thing, I will see what recipes I tried and I can actually talk about it. But for the few ones that I wrote that I could remember, I learned how to make pepper soup for the first time, as well as ukodo, which is pepper soup and yam together. So pepper soup and plantain, and both plantain. Yeah, I learned how to perfect, I perfect, perfect hey, so that English. I perfected my fried rice. I learned how to make a for roll, um, the soup type, and also the sauce type, which is like the sauce type is the type you eat with rice, and you make it with vegetable oil, and then the soup type is make it with um, palm oil. Yeah, so that's the difference. Um, plantain frittata, I tried that a couple of times. Not really perfect, but like something that I tried as well. French toast, I tried French toast, French toast a lot, and I made it for my parents. Um, sandwich toast as well. Egusi, I perfected my egusi. I perfected my soups. My my my. Hey, my ogbono. Don't chat to me, okay? I perfected a lot of things. Like my most cherished, like the one thing that I I am so proud of myself for is my fried rice. My fried rice. Anyone that comes to visit me, I'm so fried rice because that's why I know I will not, I cannot spoil it. There is no how, no two ways about it. It's gonna come out nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like it reached a brag, honestly. So yeah, those are like the 
ones that I can remember. I don't know if there's any other things, yeah, but like, those are the ones that I can remember. I know I made a lot of potatoes as well. Um, oh, and towards the end of last year, I figured out that our this thing I said grilling, so I did grilled fish and grilled chicken. So, yeah, that was something I tried as well. Um, so yeah, towards the last end, last year, LM, I realized our oven, the one that's under the cooker, still works. Um, I just cleaned it out and then I use it. So, like this year, recipes, recipes are coming. Um, next thing was birthday. So, it was basically to make sure that my birthday was a, an enjoyable one and that I enjoyed it and I loved it and I made the most out of it. Um, like I said in my birthday vlog, if you've not watched it, I will link it up here. Um, my birthday wasn't the best of times. It was not surrounded by the best of events. So it wasn't great, but my friends showed up and showed out for me. Now, I know there are people that will watch that video and be like, okay, this is what you're bragging about. But for me, as someone who doesn't, like, hardly ever gets things on her birthday, like, that actually shocked me and shook me to my core. Like, I kid you know, prior to this birthday, the only other birthday that I think I was actually spoiled shitless was probably like my my first birthday, which is a bit, it was the birthday that me and my sister shared. Like there were lots of cakes, people used to come. Like about that was back then when we were small. But like in my old age, the only other birthday that would not even rival this one, but like that was that was kind of like perfect was my 300 level um first semester. That particular year, MJ and Abby, let me remember very well though. MJ and Mudu, uh, MJ and Eunice got me a cake. And this one got me a um, set of cupcakes. And I think Ngozi as well got me a set of cupcakes. Like, I had like so much cake. <laughs> Do you get that kind of thing? So like, yeah, that was one of my birthdays that was like, oh my God, people actually got me things, you know? And so, yeah, this particular year, I got like the mic I'm using currently. I got the small camera, like there was a, like a set of like vlogging things. Um, I got new fragrance sets, like, I got food, I got a freaking framed image of myself. I got like I got so many lovely I got skincare. My skin is not it's not it's not it's not too clear, but you can see that I'm glowing. It's, the glow is different. The glow is different. I'm gonna start building up my skincare, don't worry. The next thing is sunscreen because now I've been going out a lot. But yeah, like actually like, I, I loved my post birthday moments like when i go home when i film the video when i actually start using the products and everything like it makes me so happy to realize that these are my friends the people that actually love me care about me that actually do this thing for me i got money on my birthday like do you understand what i mean like yeah it wasn't the best moment but like my friends actually showed out in like and like i said in that video it was not because of the events surrounding my birthday period that they did these things most of these people probably saved up the money for it, like the boys. Like I was mentioning the boys, the boys, the boys. They probably like planned that thing out. You understand what I mean? Like, so it's not like a thing of oh, because it, the, the events that happened was just like two weeks before my birthday. So like you can't be in two weeks bring out the money that you brought out. It's not for except your rich kids, which well they are, but still, <laughs> yeah. And then the last thing there was, it was actually to dress well and to do more like oh and bears and make more trads but it ended up being me learning how to steal my own clothes it's not a flex is it not a flex it's a flex yeah it's got it's a flex like i am so proud of me for learning that like i'm so proud of me and for actually taking out my own time to also go on youtube learn more tutorials and everything at the beginning of this video you guys saw me wearing a bonnet right let me show you guys so this bonnet i made it off of youtube right and it's like just like a double-sided bonnet and i'm going to so you can see it has this long thing here yeah? this bonnet comes in clutch right now because i have braids do you know why this place is open it's literally an open bonnet so when i put it on <laughs> it looks like a chef hat right well i can just tuck my braids in and the braids come out so it's not like it's a thing where if you don't want to pack your braids you know when they're so painful that first day like when we used to do box braids the not the not less type the regular braids and like it would be so painful like to pack the hair up is so painful like you just leave it down and just put the bonnet on your scalp like it's literally so perfect like i learned that i learned how to do different skirts i learned trousers from youtube i sewed complete sets of skirt and blouse a gown and an extra skirt for my sister from youtube like don't chat to me i'm going to get better this year yes i have a job and i know i won't probably have time 
but i'm going to make like make it a thing where my weekends i am learning i am trying i am creating like i want it to be something that i do um and i have some goals as well which i'll be sharing like i said in my next video and when i talk about my 2023 reset the goals i'm setting and all of that so yeah um to finally cap off this particular video i'm going to just be talking about some things that i achieved in quote um so yeah number one nysc which i already spoke on number two i got a job which was something that i was manifesting almost every month um i learned how to sew like i said and i made some amazing friends this year um special shout out to fola we you know my most of the friends that i talk about the boys example for example i met them in the most unconventional way like people would hear the way we met and be like are you kidding like you get that kind of thing like and that's how i met fola as well and she has been such a blessing to me and helped me through the toughest times like job hunting when i wanted to run mad she was literally giving me tips like helping me pick out my outfits um helping me basically prepare um being my coach literally like and then when life started happening to me she was there she was always checking up on me making sure like i was i was okay that kind of thing like and you just wonder it's like how do i meet you here and you care so much like it's crazy how you meet people who actually impact your life a lot i also want to give a special shout out to ife and karina i don't know if i actually spoke about it already i don't think i have but they showed up for me like these are people that i grew up with um yes you expect that um your childhood friends are there for you or your long-term friends are there for you but like it's not every time that they show up for you and they've really shown me that like yeah this is forever like we're in this for the long for the long run like coming to this place this my house is not it's not it's not close though it's not close to anywhere like to where they are and they literally if it was coming here for like four days in a row karina came here i think twice i don't take it for granted at all at all so yeah i want to give a big shout out to my friends um the boys mo esosa everybody um I'm so sorry you have forget your name or anything like it's not intentional but like i'm trying to top of my head she's so many debe um she's a youtuber that i met and like she has been amazing i love her content she's always under my comment section if you watch my videos you will see these people um jennifer oh my gosh like amazing amazing people and i really want to take this time out to say thank you so much for being a part of my 2022 and i hope that 2023 brings us bigger better memories and wins and less trauma and trials okay all right so without further ado i'll see you guys on my next video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your notifications and share this with friends and family and i'll see you guys on my next one